good morning nana in this lecture i am going to discuss about full wave rectifier what is the use of uh, this full wave rectifier we had already learnt about half wave rectifier uh, we use half wave rectifier to convert ac voltage to dc voltage then what is the use of this full wave rectifier so in half wave rectifier the output will be the output will be so for given input we have only positive output okay positive output that means here uh, the time is taking more the time is taking more for charging a mobile or char charging any electronic appliances to reduce this uh, to reduce this uh, we are using full wave rectifier we need the output we need the output as that means there must be no lag of the time there must be no lag for getting the output okay we need uh, immediate output we need immediate output so for reducing this we are using full wave rectifiers okay and in full wave rectifiers we had central tapped rectifier central tapped rectifier and and we are using a capacitor using a capacitor as a filter as a filter these are the two types of full wave rectifiers and i am going to discuss in this lecture about central tapped rectifier central tapped rectifier okay so the circuit diagram is we are using a transformer we are using a transformer this transformer is connected to a diode d1 diode d1 okay he here in this full wave rectifiers we are taking two diodes we are connecting two diodes d1 and d2 to this transform to this transform okay okay now okay now i am connecting i am connecting a load resistor a load resistor rl i am tapping i'm tapping this rl i'm ta tapping this rl to this point to this point i will explain this diagram one more time here i had taken a transformer and i connected a diode d1 to this transformer okay this diode is pn junction diode pn junction diode and one more diode d2 i had connected one more diode d2 to this transformer okay and at the point a at the point a i had connected a load resistor rl and i had tapped this load resistor okay at this ct point this ct is nothing but central tap ct is central tap central tap okay now now this is a point s1 point s2 okay mm. i will draw this so i had taken the input voltage ac input voltage okay and what will be the output voltage for this given input voltage this is ac input voltage now first half cycle this is a first half cycle for this first half cycle what is happening for first half cycle this will be positive so that s1 will be positive s1 will be positive that means here p type will be positive and n type will be negative so that as the negative terminal is connected to n type and positive terminal is connected to uh, p type here the diode d1 
here i am speaking about the diode d1 diode d1 will be forward biased forward biased okay so here as s1 is positive s2 will be negative s2 will be negative so as s2 will be negative here d2 d2 for d2 p will be negative and n will be positive therefore diode d2 diode d2 will be reverse biased reverse biased that means this diode d2 is deactive there will be no current flow through this diode d2 and the current flow uh, is through this diode d1 why because this d1 is forward biased now what happening here the current flow takes place through this diode d1 okay and through this point a here i have a junction okay here i have a junction okay see why i have taken rl at this point a and why had i had connected or why had why i had tapped this rl at this ct point why because if i didn't take rl here and if i take this load resistant at this place okay in between d1 and d2 diodes what what happening this d, d1 is forward biased whenever the d1 is forward biased d2 will be negative biased okay that means the current flow takes through this d1 and this d2 blocks the current flow whichever coming from this d1 okay that means there will be no output current or output voltage will becomes zero okay for this purpose for this purpose we are taking the load resistance at this point a and connected the other end to this point ct okay what happen here at this junction okay there will be no current flow through this d2 okay there will be no current flow here the current flows takes place through this load resistor or l and reaches to this point ct okay so the direction of the current flow will be s1 s1 to p p to n n to a a to rl rl to ct and end set s1 this will be the direction of the current flow okay and uh, so there will be the output voltage there will be the positive output voltage and what happens what happens when you take this negative half cycle what happens let's see so for negative half cycle for this negative half cycle okay for negative half cycle s1 will be negative therefore p will be negative and n will be positive therefore diode d1 is reverse biased reverse biased right that means d1 will be d active d active diode d1 will be d active or not active inactive you can also call it as inactive or if this diode is inactive and it was biased then there will be no current flow through this diode d1 okay and coming to the point s2 if this is negative this s2 will be positive therefore p will be positive and n will be negative therefore diode d2 will be forward biased here the diode is forward biased okay here this diode is forward biased that means this diode is active whenever this diode is active the current flows current flows through this d2 diode right and what happening here the direction of the current will be from s2 from s2 to through this diode d2 and from 
from this diode d to 2 point a point a that is the junction a and if this current is flown through this diode d1 here this diode d1 won't allow the current flow why because it is reverse biased therefore the current flows through this uh, junction to the load resistor rl and this uh, from here it goes to the point c so write the direction of the current flow from s2 to d2 d2 to the junction a uh, from junction a to load resistor rl to ct again uh, from ct to s2 and set s2 this is the direction of the current flow you have to write these points very important points in your examination okay so uh, for scoring good marks you have to write these points okay you have to write each and every point for scoring good marks okay so uh, finally you have the current flow for negative half cycle the current flow the current is flown through this diode d2 and if you repeat the same process if for half, positive half cycle the and if you repeat the process for positive half cycle the current is flown from d2 and for negative half cycle the current is flown through d2 positive half cycle flow current flown from d1 negative half cycle current flown to d2 so this process repeats and the output will be in this way that means there is no time lag there is no time lag uh, for the for each output okay so uh, this is the use of full wave rectifier over half wave rectifier and uh, i will uh, take one more lecture for teaching this full wave rectifier using a filter okay bye